Hey guys. hey guys, this is Trent Williams, this is Natalie Williams, and we are the Williams, here on the Williams Way of Life. It's been a while fam, it's been crazy busy for us, it's been a long time, we apologize we can't come to you sooner. A couple months, but, yeah. Yeah, it's been a couple months, yeah. but we are back, we back baby, back. we back at this thing, and um, as many of our close friends and our Social media following knows we've got some big news. You want to share it or you want me to share it? Let me be the honest. You sure? Yeah. I mean, are you going to like... Do you think I'm responsible enough? Do you think I can make it like climactic, climactic enough? Is that's that the word? I'm, that's is that the word? word? That's what I'm worried about. Is that, like, is that the like, correct word? Are you going okay. to give it to the people? Or are you going to kind of like, you know, just... Hey. Oh, guys. Yeah. I think I can be dramatic. Okay, let's see. Okay, okay. Here we go. If I don't do well, then you can. This your audition. You can right reintroduce. Here. She's auditioning live in front of all of you. <laughs> so, you guys know we used to live in Lawrenceville, Georgia, also known as Atlanta, Georgia, because everything is Atlanta. Recently, we made a big move south to Tampa, Florida. That wasn't good enough. I didn't want to be like real like, hey, you know what I'm saying? Like that's a lot. It, I mean, it needs to be more than that. It was like, it was like, um, like budget Oprah. <laughs> you get a car, you get a car, you get a car. <laughs> so it's my turn. Okay. Y'all tell us who y'all think did it better. All right, here we go. See, see, you know, people try and go with excitement. When you really you just gotta hit them from the heart. Okay, here we go. So listen, we've lived in Atlanta, we lived in Chattanooga for the past four years. I have been driving uh, two I have been driving two hours there and back every week for ministry, whole nine. Um, and you know, we just felt like a move was coming, but we didn't really know what the move was gonna be. We were hoping some things were going to uh, happen in the Atlanta area for us, and they just didn't pan out. Um no, the and Lord so, just kept closing doors on purpose. Like, he kept closing doors that were supposed to be wide open. Like, even the people who had the keys to the doors were like, you know the door was wide open for you, but we just could never get it together. But anyway, in the process, mm -hmm. um, you know, just through some painstaking prayer and seeking God on what's next, we we decided to go back to my home state um, and to bring Natalie to... Our dream state to live in. Yeah. So the Williams family are now residents of Tampa, Florida. I mean, okay, 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 okay. It was good, wasn't it? Uh huh. It, it touched you right here. But you didn't tell me I was supposed to do like the full blown background and history. Like we didn't really talk about that. But I mean, you could have done it however you wanted to. You just chose the Tampa, Florida. <laughs> Either way, we made the move to Tampa, Florida, and we love it here. Yes. Oh, we love it here. Um, the boys love it here. The boys love it here. Wow. Um, Y'all know, of course, TJ is now two, almost three. Tegan is now. Six, Six months. months, he's crawling through the house. Well, you know, he's doing like that scooting, crawling thing, but he's moving he's very, fast. very fast. Um, loving it. Absolutely loving it. Loving the weather, loving the people, loving the vibes. Um, it's really an interesting thing because part of what we've been realizing now that we live here is a lot of what we were trying to get different mm -hmm. things that we were, we were connected to in Atlanta or in Tennessee. Um, things we were trying to get them to do there, they were already yeah. doing here in Tampa. So for, I mean, just even simple stuff down, down to like neighborhoods, you know, we were basically telling our neighborhood, um, you know, a lot of you guys are selling your houses now, we're younger families, you wanna make it more community style, yeah. you know, where people can engage with each other. We want a block party. You know, like we wanna be able to like, you know. Somebody put come, some food on the green. Come hang out at the pool, you know, stuff like that. Um, they said it was a great idea, and then they 
kind of pseudo did it. Whereas, like, down here. Oh, yeah, they did. They did that potluck, but it was in the middle of Rona. Yeah. Ain't nobody trying to eat your food like that. Right, and we don't know who got like cats. Got cats. <laughs> we don't know. We don't know. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if you was <clears throat> in the food. Like, I don't know if you like to cough in your hand and I walk. You know? Yeah, no, so no, 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 no potlucks. Yeah, but see, food like, food. our neighborhood here does food truck Fridays. I love food trucks. Do you love food trucks? I love food trucks. Right outside of the swimming pool where there's a splash pad for the children. TJ loves the splash pad. Yeah, so y'all, like, just, I mean, yeah, I mean, ministry is wonderful. I'm not going to mention the church because, you know, again, as I said, if you hit me up personally, I'll let you know where to find us. But, you know, it's crazy out there that may see this. Um, but it's pretty easy for you to find out where we at if you just. I mean, yeah, here. if their name is Trent Williams, they might could probably find that address. Here we go. Child. Here we go with this. But anyway, y'all. What's your what's what's okay? We were gonna talk about like top three favorite things in Tampa, but like, what's your like favorite favorite, like your top favorite thing about moving to Tampa? Um. And then give me two more. So I still want your to top three, but I want them in chronological order. My favorite thing about the move to Tampa has been um, seeing how at peace you are here. Oh, that don't, don't make me cry my lashes off. I just put these on. It is though. It is though. You know, I did, you know, I, you know, just because of the pandemic and because ministry had me traveling so much, uh, I don't feel like we ever fully got settled in Atlanta. Um, yeah, and we're we're only a month in here, and fam, like we still got boxes, but we feel super settled, yeah. like to the point of we like, man, forget them boxes. Do y'all want a house tour? Would you be open to doing a house tour? Main um, level, main level house tour. With with the toddlers. That's what would make it awesome. So basically, what she just said is. She's going, she knows how I am. She's going to do like a full blown sweeping clean. No, if you want a house tour, leave a comment below. Tell us you want a house tour. But then you have to come in with the expectation that this is a home that houses a six month old, an almost three year old, and a one year old puppy. I'm not fixing to hire no cleaning company coming here to show these people where we live. That's what I'll need to see. All right. No house tour. We're not going to do that. Maybe. We'll figure it out. Y'all let us know what y'all think. Anyways, we feel super settled here. We still have boxes. But super we feel settled. Much more um, happy here. Other things I enjoy is uh, as much as I love Atlanta and all of the things to do, I like that Tampa is just a tad bit slower, but it still has all of the things that we like to do. I mean, you know, because again, as much as I love Atlanta, I am so grateful. To be able to go to brunch and there's not a blaring DJ and hookah and some waitress twerking next to my walk, chicken and waffles. Walk on the brunch. We like, like to turn up. Like I loved I love Atlanta. I love my people in Atlanta. Yeah. But DJ, I'm so tired of trap. But I'm so tired of trap brunches. I'm over yeah. it. I'm over it. Yeah. I went to, I, We took DJ to brunch one time and they were outside, like outdoor on the patio. They were like smoking and <laughs> the music was not censored. So we had to get our child <laughs> at this family friendly <laughs> restaurant and go home. Can we have this food to go, please? <laughs> please. But yeah, so yeah. I'm enjoying that. Um, I am also enjoying being closer to family. So for me, this move uh, has me within about three hours of most of my family. Uh, Y'all yeah, know I'm a Florida boy by nature, so I'm originally from Melbourne, Florida. Bavard County stand up. 321 Countdown County. Y'all know. Y'all know how we do. But yeah, uh, yeah, it just has me excited to be closer to the family. Uh, even though it took us further away from her side of our family. Notice how I said that? Her side of our family. It's not her family, my family. We weren't. So it's our family. Because what's yours is mine and what's mine is mine. Nope. Every husband out there understands exactly what that means. <laughs> and y'all see my face. So yeah, fam, we're just, uh, yeah, I'm enjoying that. And let me see, what's the third thing I'm enjoying? I thought you didn't give us three things. I did? Okay, I well, go ahead. Go ahead. You did, did three. Give us one more. Give us a bonus. Come on now. And I'm enjoying Jesus in Tampa. Hallelujah. Oh, 
Um, he's so good to us wherever we go. All right, just and your turn. Where we go. Your turn. Well, he didn't give us a legit bonus number four. You wanted to. It was in your heart to share it. I am thoroughly enjoying okay, the blue skies and the clouds and the sunshine. Why are you gonna be like this? And the tree rays. Oh, and the uh the the pet cranes. So we have like a oh, gang of cranes. The gang like, crane. Literally, it'll be like eight or nine of them just walking through our neighborhood. The crane gang. And sometimes they'll stop in the middle of the road. And like you have to drive around them, or you have to like try and slowly but surely get them out of the road. So yeah, I'm enjoying the crime. Okay, but look, I talked to Crystal the other day, and she said those birds are aggressive. Legit, she said they will like attack you. And TJ likes to try to like get close to them. So me and TJ went. There are two parks in our neighborhood, two playgrounds in the neighborhood, and TJ likes to ride his motorcycle to the park to the playground. And we were riding and we rolled up on the crane gang. And I was like, wait a minute, push pause, put the thing in reverse. I don't know them like that. They like real close to the road where we riding. Let's just go the other way. Like just avoid them altogether. Cause I don't know them like that. TJ was like, mommy, can I get off my motorcycle and touch the cranes? Uh, no, no, you can't. I personally don't want to go to jail for drop kicking a dodo bird. Like, <laughs> Cause you know they got they they be protecting their the wildlife and I don't have time for that. So I was like TJ, no, we not come touch the grave. Stay on your bike, put it in reverse, go the other way. So we went the other way and we ended up walking away. But Crystal was like, those birds are aggressive. It's a good thing you went the opposite direction. Like they will attack you. Did you know that? They like a legit crane game. Those are pets. If it, it's like a. It's like a tiger. Like, yes, yeah, a pet if you raise it to be a pet. But in the wild, it ain't no pet. If it's the wild. This is the wild. If it's not been domesticated, it's it's wild. Them birds talk to people every day. They sit in people's front yard. Those are domesticated okay. pet birds. Okay. I'm bringing one in the house. Okay. All right. Can I bring one in the house? No. Put it in the backyard. With them lizards. Yes. Because I don't like the lizards either. This this video is getting really long. Can you tell me your three things already? My three things. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. My favorite, favorite thing. What is it? What's my favorite, favorite thing? Don't get it wrong. No pressure. Okay, forget it. The beach. Oh my gosh, we're so close it. to the beach. You didn't know because you didn't say it. We're so close to the beach that I like to go to the beach at least once a week. I like to be able to go twice a week, but somebody gives me a really hard time about always wanting to be at the beach. So I compromise and I request to go once a week. We didn't go last week though because the heat advisories were really high, just real hot outside. But TJ loves the beach. Tegan loves the beach. We all love I it. I love the beach. We love the beach. So my favorite thing about being here is the beach. Uh, my second favorite thing is probably the food trucks. Because I like to eat. We're foodies. I enjoy trying the different foods. And TJ loves going to get like the Italian ice after swimming and doing splash pad things. So we like to be outdoors. The third thing is probably my third favorite thing about Tampa. I'm going to have to piggyback and say Tampa gives me like that that country city vibe like it's just big enough to be a big city but it doesn't have all the annoying things that big cities have and that's also partially because we live out in the country we do live in the country we are here but even states. but i go to the city to like oh yeah you do do a work. lot of stuff to work so i don't sit in a lot of traffic like i used to in atlanta mm, i right. don't you know have to deal with the foolishness i don't know i it's a lot yeah. easier to commute yeah here. Funk in Tampa are like, oh, well, you know, you have to deal with our crazy Tampa traffic. And I'm always like, you do realize we moved here from Atlanta, right? Where you have to literally plan what time you leave the house around rush hour in Atlanta. Here we can just get up and be like, hey, you want to go to the store? Yeah, why not? You want to go downtown? Yeah, why not? And it doesn't matter what time it is. Yeah. Their rush hour here is a legitimate rush hour. Yeah. Atlanta, the whole day is rush hour. The whole the four hours is rush hour. Mm -hmm. It'd be rush hours. Yeah. It's rush hour in the morning from like 6 to 10. 
then you got then you got the lunch rush from about twelve to two. Yeah, and you, then, do. Uh, you do have a lunch rush. And right? then evening rush hour will go from four to seven. All day, bruh. All day. And then if you're you, from Atlanta, then you know what we're talking about. And then you got club rush hour, which okay, is from bye. like ten to one. <laughs> okay. Bye. And that's when you really, really want to not be on the roads. Lord help. Cause you. they driving fast. Some of them have already pre gamed. 285 and 85 smells like a pound of marijuana just riding down it from the contact <laughs> high. It's just, it's just, you know. We love you, Atlanta. We do. We love all our friends that still live there. We love y'all. So that I will say, I will say that is the hardest thing Boy. about the hardest thing about moving to Tampa is the relationships we we uh let me not say I was gonna say left, but we, yeah, we didn't really leave those relationships. But, you know, just the distance that has been yeah. uh, created with some of those relationships. So if you're watching this, and we know y'all are, we absolutely love y'all. We, we miss y'all. you. Come visit. We've already had visitors. So Distance makes the heart grow fonder. And it also makes you get your behind in the car or on a plane and come down here. My family is coming to visit next month. My mommy, I'm not going to tell you how old she turns, but she is aging gracefully. And all of my family, our family... My side of the family is coming to visit next month. We had already planned her trip, her birthday trip to Tampa. Um, like what, in like February, January? We had Last that. year. Was it? Yes. Okay, last my days year. run together. Whatever. It was last year. Last year. We had already planned to bring her to Tampa for her birthday. And then when we told them we were moving to Tampa, they were like, oh, wow, so we can come see your house. And for those of you who may or may not know my family, uh, my mother probably otherwise would not get on a plane and come here for poops and giggles. So I'm excited for them to be here uh, to see us and see our family here and how much we love it here. And maybe they'll fall in love too. <laughs> they have their own lives, but yeah. we'll be excited to welcome them. And any of you who come to visit us, please, if you're in the Tampa area, let us know so we can meet you and kick it. Most definitely, but you know, we, we kind of getting a lot of lot of viewers and followers. When we say that, we talking to like our <laughs> friends. Wait. <laughs> Y'all gonna have to listen. If you're a new follower, just give us a second. I promise, I we're gonna treat you. We're gonna treat you like family when we see you. But uh, yeah, don't just roll up. You know, just. Okay, no hostile. But no <laughs> yeah, you have to like we showing this to like our like. 20 friends. No, you talking about hundreds of viewers Ooh. touring our house. No, thank you. What about like MTV Cribs? Yeah, they also have them houses like <laughs> professionally cleaned. And our house. And they all locked down. They probably got security. And too. our house looks like Trent Williams Sr. and Trent Williams Jr. plus a dog and an infant live in it. Okay, no house story. I tried. <laughs> I tried. Yeah, y'all. So we are we are having the time of our lives. Um, you know, a lot of new challenges, but we are looking forward to them. Still, really hadn't got into the city much, but that's on the way. Mm -hmm. Y'all know how we do. So is my summer body because I've been outside a lot since we've been in Tampa. You know, we've been more active since we've been here. So really, like if you see me outside with my stomach out and it's flat, like you really just don't even have to acknowledge me. Like you don't have to talk to me at all. Cause I'm probably not even gonna let him talk to me at all. So, you know, just look and be like, oh, Matt says she's gonna get her body right because she lives in Tampa now. So, uh, that's just a forewarning. I just want to my our next video, like when I get my body together, our next video is gonna be with my crop top on. Just so you know. Oh, okay. Okay. I don't say I didn't warn you. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, that's it. I think unless you have something else. Nothing. Let's say you. All right, Nothing. guys. So welcome to Tampa. It's the Williams Way of Life where we just pick up and move our family across state lines and act like it's easy and normal. But you know what? Let me finish it this okay. way. Okay. Work it out for us. You know, um, somebody said something to me and they were like, you know, it's really impressive that y'all just pick up and move like that. And you know, my thing is, so first of all, we, we're very prayerful when we pick up and move. We are, we are very, trust me. We're very prayerful. Uh, we also seek out counsel. We have people who counsel us that we trust their word. We talk to our families and our parents 
you know, because, you know, their, their opinions actually matter to us. Mm -hmm. But uh, more importantly, we just pray about it. We pray about it. And if we feel like God give us the green light, we don't care who else say give us a stop sign mm -hmm. or a red light. If God say right. go, right. then. And, and so, you know, hopefully for those of you who are watching this and you're considering a move where you feel like God is saying somewhere new for you, do it. Go. Just go. This is your sign. If you've been waiting for a sign, this is it. This is it right here. Boom. That was your sign. See, just fell on you. Okay, Peter, bye. Peter, pop off. Okay, bye. <laughs> Carmen Thomas, cause, cause God! Okay, this All is right, getting I'm very sorry. out of hand. It's late. We delirious. Y'all know how we get when we sleepy. We love y'all. This is the Williams way of life. Tell Signing out. Time. has never gone skating before and this joke is just out here doing what he do he said I don't need no hands look my no hands Tegan why are you splashing water everywhere I mean it's everywhere what, where are you going sit down sit. Come on, now, now, now put your booty in the seat son where are you going you are six months old 